Hello, Aquarius. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. All right, Aquarius, you know, looking at this, to me, it kind of feels like some of you need to actually go out and release some energy. You know, and I know I've seen Maynad for you before, but with balance being there, it kind of changes it a little bit. Now, from Lay Vampire Maynad, madness, ecstatic ritual, and energy release, but then balance from Chakra Wisdom. So Maynad is, like I've always said, my going out and having a good time card. This one's different than Primal. It's saying that there's a reason to be excited and to be happy, but then there's also the warning there about being deceived by your own desires. Now, some of you may be really excited about something, but with balance, you may actually push it away. Now, the curse is what stuck out to me, or part of the curse for me, Ned. It says, keeping yourself on such a tight leash that your repressions rule you and therefore expressed in unhealthy ways. So some of you may just, you know, need to have better balance between work and play. But like I said, with balance, you know, it, it's it, the inspiration says running towards something may chase it away. Be wary of being deceived by your own desires, right? It's chasing illusions. It's compulsive behavior with Maynad being there. Absolutely. But it's also about self-neglect. I don't know. I think some of you just you need this. It's like you need it, but you need to be careful, you know. All right, Aquarius, here we go. Here is your overall for the week. The Six of Pentacles. Oh, boy. So, you know, right? Balance, obviously needed. But I don't know. I, I, the first thing that hit me was receiving something. You're receiving some assistance, receiving something good. You know, especially with the Ace of Pentacles falling out. But this is the minor to the major, right? Just like the Two of Cups is the minor to the lovers. But, you know, it's not really about correcting wrongs. You know, it's just equal give and take here. But needing better balance, obviously. Oh my God. Aquarius, what the? What? Why? <laughs> In the past, the King of Wands. Oh, you're going to be like Aries. Aries finally broke the pattern of constantly pulling the ace. Now, you know, the King of Wands keeps showing up for you guys. <laughs> so the King of Wands is the past coming through. We could be talking about you dealing with a fire sign, possibly. Or it could just be, you know, you're feeling more passionate, more excited, more adventurous, being smart about where your desires are leading you right? Or you were at one time. <laughs> but, you know, like I've always said, he has a tendency to show up when there is attraction to someone, you know, no matter what sign you're dealing with. <sighs> oh, wow. Man. In the present, the Ten of Swords, and I'm, I'm waiting to see, I'm always waiting to see what's going on here, but painful ending, right? Ugh, man, I mean, just looking at the three very simply, it, it's about equal give and take and then ending a situation possibly with a person who is not giving their share. I mean, that's just face value between the three. But I don't know, because this is still a persistent thing. You know, if it was really over with, with the King of Wands, I would have expected, you know, the Ten of Swords to be the past, not him still showing up. I don't know, but I don't like that energy of the Ten of Swords being there. Okay, future conditions, the chariot. For those of you who are ending a situation with a person, with the chariot being in future conditions, it's you, you know, getting better control and moving on, right? I mean, that's major victory there. But it's about getting control over what is going on internally, right? The yin and the yang, the light and the dark. <sighs> But quick movement, like really quick movement. But where are you going? Where are you going with the Ten of Swords being there? You know, are you getting something else though? You know, are you ending it with someone and moving on to something else because of that being there? Or are you still dealing with, you know, a painful ending here and looking to make a drastic change or a drastic move? 
you know, because clearly this is still an issue. Your best path to follow the high priestess. Ye reoccurring cards for you, I'm telling you. This, with the high priestess being your best path to follow, it's really about, you know, your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? But then it's also, you know, the passive energy. It's not as, it's not asking you to act. Okay. She is more about watching what is going on first. You know, and that is where the intuition kicks in and then you're guided in the right direction. But are you paying attention to that? Or are you withholding things? You know, are, are you like holding on to things and not really dealing with it and then like just charging forward, but then going nowhere fast with the chariot? You know, that's kind of what I worry about with that. But what the hell? Oh my God. What the fuck? fuck is going on Aquarius? Jeez. Ooh, man, there's definitely an ending happening here. Oh my God. Death in the environment. It's, it's done. It's over with. And I think that you're quickly wanting change more than anything. I don't ever see Aquarius staying put with difficult situations. Once it's over, it's over. I mean, you definitely go through the emotions and the thoughts, but you don't linger. Like, I don't see you lingering there, but with the high priestess there, I worry about you repressing some things, though. You know, but when you're looking at these two, it, whatever the situation was with this King of Wands, it's over, over. You know, and with death being there, it's an opportunity for you to go through a major change, right? A lot of times when death comes through, it's one of those things that's actually welcome. Like, this needs to be over with. I need to stop dealing with this now. No matter how painful it is, I need the change. You know, the rebirth, right? And you have Cancer, Scorpio, and Fire going on. But you're like, immediately, and I mean, it's huge. But, you know, I would expect that with this being in the environment, you know? I mean, look, look at the foundation on this. I do think that some of you are finally... Like, finally, you know, coming to that realization that this is something that's completely over with. You know, and I still think with the Six of Pentacles, you're you're open to receive something else. Something else may be coming through, and that's where the fast movement is happening. But I don't know. I still see you being pulled two different ways. And I say that mainly because of her being here. Oh, Wow. All right, so your hopes and your fears, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like for some of you, you're wanting it to come back around. And that's only for some of you. That That's just the feeling that I'm getting because of what I'm seeing here. But now with the Wheel of Fortune, right, it, like definitely an ending, big time ending here. Like I said, possibly dealing with a person or something that you may have been working toward possibly with someone or just you. I mean, with the energy of the King of Wands, right? I don't know. If we're talking about you with the King of Wands as the past, I feel like you were balanced in what you were doing. You know, there was that excitement and, and enthusiasm and the want to experience something new, but it not going so well with the Ten of Swords, it definitely being over with, but I think you're wanting it to be over with, but there's still things that you're repressing and looking at this, you know, it's either wanting it to come back around or fearing that you're going to repeat this cycle again, but then also, you know, hoping that things are definitely over with and you're moving on. But I don't know, this throws me off because of what we're seeing here. I mean, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, it could just simply be that you feel like you're not in control over your own fate and destiny. You know, sometimes we are, sometimes we're not. Sometimes the universe hands us some shit that we've seen before and it's like, what the hell? You know, but I don't know, I get the feeling that, and that's only for some of you, like wanting it to come back around, but in a different way. And then coming out the star. So yeah, you are receiving something better for sure with the star being there. But this is done, you know? This is where you need to be. And then there you are, right? Bigger and better things. Oh, 
Aquarius, what is happening? I am talking to some of you who are ending a relationship. I shit you not. Some of you may be moving on to something else because just this alone with all of this is good. And then you have the chariot. Who are you moving toward? Because something is definitely coming to an end, but you're moving on like boom to the next. With the lovers being there and the two of cups, come on now, right? We're talking about a major relationship here that I think for some of you has come to a complete end. But I think some of you are accepting it now. If we're looking at the King of Swords, because I've always seen this as Aquarius, you know, you're not bitter. Like I've never seen Aquarians as bitter bitter about difficult situations. They're the ones that, you know, are logical and straight to the point, right? But not in a way where you're cold or shut off, you know, but I do think that some of you may be moving on somewhere else, you know, and I say that because you have the two kings showing up and then you have the two of cups right there, you know, and you may be moving on to a situation possibly, you know, with another air sign. Now, if you're a male Aquarius here, there may have been a major ending of a relationship. I think that you're getting to a better place mentally, but you're moving on really quick to bigger and better things when it comes to relationships, for sure. And I, I, I shit you not, I do not purposely go into these readings looking for relationship issues, but it, it always seems to be what comes out. But I think that, and it's funny because I go back and I look at the Oracle cards. Now, if we are talking about relationship issues, ending one, going somewhere else, you know, it makes sense that you would need to have that balance because needing to accept that it's over, you know, because I see that with death being there. But then if you are moving on to something new, I can understand with the Wheel of Fortune, right? Like hoping that you're not going to see the same cycle again. Now, with the chariot being here, right? I mean, you can say that this is going to be, you know, somewhere that, you know, you're going. So this may be somebody who's at a distance from you or they may be coming toward you. You know, and I wonder, I wonder with the High Priestess being here, but I still think that some of you are repressing the difficulty here with, you know, an ending of a situation that I think felt and looked good in the past, you know, but you got to be careful about the jump. You can't just go from one to the next without having dealt with the difficulties surrounding it, right? Wow. <laughs> Oh my God, these readings this week have just been blowing me away. But like, I've been seeing your card consistently for a lot of people. And to me, it's not just hope and healing and having faith and feeling better and going with the flow and emotional balance. It's bigger and better things, right? But for you, it's having to do with relationships. And it makes me wonder if this wasn't a major one from the past. And now you're moving into, you know, a different connection here with the Two of Cups because of the King of Swords being in the middle. You know, I mean, we could definitely be talking about you moving into a better place where there's equal give and take with somebody that you are in a major relationship with and you having, you know, a little bit more like mental stability when it comes to this instead of being all over the place emotionally. But I'm looking at this here. I mean, that's that's big. I rarely, rarely ever see these two connected. All right. So in uh, here, here, here's what I'm going to say, because I do think that this is going to be about, you know, those of you who have ended a major relationship and you're moving on. OK, so now if you're single, give your relationship a chance. You know, and it may be with the Knight of Pentacles that you need to be friends first or repair the friendship before, you know, the relationship can move anywhere else. You know, because clearly here something needs to be like healed or fixed, right? Now, for those of you... <laughs> <laughs> who are in a relationship, true love, and then you have the star. I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't know what else to say on this. 
for some of you, if you have ended a relationship where you're going, I mean, you know, I, I, I it's right there. I mean, it's already right there, right? So this looks good, especially for those of you who have met this person, you know, now for those of you who are being asked to give your relationship a chance, you know, it may be that you don't really need to be back in this full on relationship maybe just needing to come to a place where you're friends with this person, which is possible with the Knight of Pentacles, right? But, you know, you are being asked to give it a chance, right? But I don't know. I, I almost wonder if you're not pushing them into the friend zone because of, you know, what I'm seeing here. But I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm talking to those of you who are dealing with major endings of like long-term relationships. And I mean long-term because I look at the lovers and I go back to the past, right? And look at what is, you know, affecting the outcome, right? So we're talking about the lovers and the king of wands. This is a past relationship that is, you know, long-term here. This is a big commitment, right? And it being over, you know, and this could be the other person that, you know, you're connecting with, e even if it's not. And we're talking about you. Like I said, you're coming from a place where you're more clear. You're thinking more clearly when it comes to the type of connections that you're making, you know, and not being all over the place with the chariot. All right, Aquarius. So <laughs> this is one of those ones where I'm like, I, I'm only talking to a select few on this one. But the fact that the star showed up, you know, yeah. Th this is going to be meant for some Aquarians. Now, looking back at balance and then looking at the Six of Pentacles, you know, it makes me think that, you know, not only do you need to have that balance, right, before you go chasing something else here, and I can understand with Maynard being excited, there is a reason to be excited, but, you know, as far as this goes, what are you giving to? Because I still feel like you're still looking at this, and this is big. Between these two, I think it's really about you needing to come to terms with the fact that this is completely over with, you know, are you suppressing this with the high priestess, right? You know, that that's what I worry about more than anything. And I, I worry that you may be moving too quickly into another situation. But the thing is, you know, with the star coming out on this, you're fine. Like, <laughs> I think that you're fine no matter what you do. Now, the Ten of Swords in Death... You know, for those of you who are definitely ending a long-term relationship here, I mean, just looking at it, that's what it looks like to me, right? Like, I can understand the pain. I can understand the need for change and acceptance. But, you know, like, I want to tell you to be careful, but, like, I think you're okay. But I still think that the reason why this is showing up is because there may be some things, like I said, that you're repressing, right? and needing to just kind of accept and deal with before you go. You know, I do think that you're getting to a place here where you're thinking a little bit more clearly about relationships and what you're expecting, for sure. But I also see you making a connection here. You know, moving from one long-term relationship to the next, and with the chariot, right, we could definitely be talking about somebody who may be at a distance from you, you know? Or it could just be that you're getting better control and thinking a little bit more clearly on what you're wanting in terms of relationships, and there may not be another person involved. But I think there is for some of you. Now, when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune, like I get it now, looking at it, I think that some of you are still having a hard time dealing with this. I think that there's a hope that it may come back around, but I think that ultimately you know that that isn't the case, right? But then also, if you are moving into another situation, it could be that you're fearing that you're going to see this same scenario over again. You know, it looks difficult, but the thing is, is if this was something that was like good for you, or if it was meant to be, you wouldn't be looking at the Ten of Swords connected to death, you know, and then looking at the lovers as the past connection to why there's healing going on, right? 
Now, for some of you, yeah, it could definitely be the healing of a really big relationship for you, but I can't, I can't look past this. And then looking at her and thinking about repressing something, you know, that seems to be what comes up for me with that one. And just you needing to pay attention to, you know, your own intuition. But it doesn't look bad coming out regardless. Like, as far as relationships go for you, there is going to be healing. Whether or not you're getting involved in another relationship, whatever has been done in the past, it's over with, you're going to be fine. And like I said, with the King of Swords, like I've always seen that as Aquarius anyway. You getting more mentally clear on what you're willing to give when it comes to relationships, right? Now, as far as relationships, <laughs> this one kind of threw me off. It always throws me off when I see this, because when you're looking at the Knight of Pentacles, you're talking about somebody who's making an offer, but it's just friends. Now, as far as giving your relationship a chance, if you're ending a major relationship, it could be that the relationship needs to move into a friendly area instead of being difficult and painful. You know, which is typical of Aquarius anyway. I mean, when you guys end relationships, you don't want it to be like a bitter thing. You know, you're still very friendly when it comes to that, right? Now, it could be that, you know, if there were difficulties as far as giving a relationship a chance, you know, like I said, it's needing to be the better friends before the relationship goes any further. Or you just need to be friends now. Now... For those of you who are in a relationship, true love in the star, I mean, that's exactly what you pulled in the outcome. Between the lovers, the two of cups, and the star again? Yeah. You know, so it could be the healing of a relationship. Some of you may have ended a major relationship, and now you're finding true love, and it's bringing healing to you with the star. But wow. <laughs> You know, and I rarely ever get to see this one. I mean, it's rare that this one comes up. And then having, you know, I mean, I like it. I think you're okay coming out no matter what the situation is. And for some of you, you may need to, like, move. Like, make a big move when it comes to ending a major relationship, which is possible with the chariot. But like I said, regardless with the star, the lovers, and the two of cups, no matter what is happening relationships are taking a turn for the better for you this time. 